it's been unveiled, we've driven the prototypes and now we finally get to drive the production version of Kia's first Indian entrant, the Seltos, in a very rainy Goa. What is it like? Let's take a look. Now, India is a very important market when it comes to design and Kia has studied that well. Now, we've already seen the Seltos before and we think it's one good looking SUV. It's the front that garners most attention thanks to the width. Then there's the tiger nose grille as Kia calls it which gives it a very aggressive look. But the real party piece are the two layer crown jewel headlamps and the very interesting DRLs. On the sides, it's the 17 inch alloys that stand out. Especially the crystal cut alloys with the red calipers on the GT line variant. The rear follows the sporty theme with the heartbeat LED tail lamps and nicely designed twin four exhaust outlets. Overall, the Seltos looks fantastic and Kia have got it spot on with the sporty theme. On the insides, Kia wanted to concentrate on high-tech features and superior quality. And we think they've pretty much got it spot on. The all-black or white theme with the silver inserts look great with the 10.25-inch HD touchscreen infotainment system being the silver lining. Let me just add, while we're on the topic of the infotainment system, that it looks and works great with crisp colors and being very responsive at the same time. Depending on the variant, you get either an Archimi sound system or the brilliant Bose unit. You also get mood lighting, which works in conjunction with the music system. The chunky steering gets a flat bottom to add to the sporty nature and looks and feels great. What is also a first in India is the 8-inch heads-up display which pops up in a very cool manner. The Seltos also gets a world's first smart pure air purifier located in the center armrest. Getting onto the back bench, you have more than enough legroom and seating three people abreast shouldn't be a problem thanks to its wide girth. Even the boot space at 433 litres is the best in the segment. Overall, the cabin looks and feels great for a car in this segment. And just like the exteriors, Kia have hit bullseye when it comes to the interiors. Kia wants to make sure it doesn't miss out on any customers. And as a result, you have three engine options to choose from. And all the three engines have a manual or an automatic gearbox as an option. What we're driving right now is the 1.4 litre turbo petrol. And this engine is sure to make you smile. It revs freely towards its red line. And there's a real kick once the rev counter goes past 3000 RPM. The fantastic engine aside, the Seltos could do with a better clutch feel and a slicker shifting gearbox considering the engine just begs to be flogged. But we think the 7-speed DCT variant should be a more able match for this engine. And now we're driving the 1.5-litre diesel with the 6-speed automatic gearbox. What is immediately noticeable is the torque available at low speeds. And unless you rev it really hard, it's pretty refined too. The 6-speed torque converter gearbox has a good combination of gear ratios which makes it effortless to drive in the city and on the highways. Kia claims an efficiency of 18 km per litre and we think the real-world figures will be quite close. Coming to the ride and handling package, the Seltos is aimed to offer a sporty drive and it does. The steering wheel is a little vague, but the Seltos changes direction quickly and surprises you with the agility on offer. We must add that the steering wheel on the diesel variant was a tad better and weightier too. We drove the Seltos on potholed city roads and the smooth highways, and it dealt with most conditions quite well. 
The petrol variants are set up slightly on the stiffer side and we think that's more to do with the Seltos more sporty intent. In comparison, the diesel with a heavier engine and possibly revised spring rates boasts better damping and rides better than the petrol. Kia has done its homework well and with the Seltos is aiming to cement its place not only as a manufacturer of quality products but also as an aspirational brand. Now all they need to do is add a value for money tag by pricing the Seltos competitively and if they do, the competition better be worried.